And again, what happened over the last three days, once again, both feels and looks like a grave injustice. Here in Kenosha, a former politician called two summers ago for armed white vigilantes to come to our city. And one of them was a 17-year-old who carried a assault rifle, a military-grade weapon, onto our streets here in Kenosha. He was illegally carrying this arm, as we do not permit teenagers in our state to carry firearms in public. As is often the case during protest, Certainly there was some ambiguity, but there was some back and forth, and two men lost their lives when this teenager shot them. A third man almost lost his life as he was seriously wounded, and a fourth was shot at by this young man. Hal Rittenhouse, this young 17-year-old who murdered these two men, attempted to murder a third, and grievously wounded a fourth, will face no consequences, as I know you all know. And not only will he face no consequences for his actions that night, actions that, no matter what our politics, no matter what our ideas are about the world, none of us celebrate 17-year-olds carrying military-grade weapons in our streets. None of us want to normalize that. None of us can condone that as a way that we want Kenosha or Wisconsin or our country to operate. But not only is this young man not facing consequences over the last couple days, he has not just been offered one, but he's been offered numerous jobs to work in Congress for different congressional leaders.